Welcome back to my channel and welcome back. Hey! So I'm making this little clip to explain something real quick before you watch this video. I look so bad right now. Oh my god. Oh my god. Anyways. Um, this was supposed to be like one whole video, but like ended up being too long and I didn't want to upload a whole 15 minute video, like nobody has time for that. So, I split them up. This is the story time on what, how I got fired from the Olive Garden. And then the other part that will be up after this one, <laughs> you'll catch all the tea and everything else. So, don't be confused when I'm mentioning the next part of this video or whatever I say in the video, but... Sorry, and thanks for watching. Ciao. To another video or whatever. Mm. Let's get started with this video. It's going to be nice, short, sweet, and to the motherfucking point, bitch. So, you read the motherfucking title correctly, honey. I, me, this little homo right here, or whatever, is going to spill some tea. <laughs> Honey. Some what? So what are you spilling? I'm spilling tea. Tea. Like I'm spilling it all. About the Olive Garden. Now, I am an ex-employee of the Olive Garden, so the first half of this video is me explaining why I'm an ex-employee, and the other half of this video is gonna be the tea that I'm gonna spill. What is in my I. So if you like eating at the Olive Garden, I would stick around for the other half of the video. So I'm going to put a timestamp on the screen just in case you don't want to watch me tell you why I don't work there anymore. And let's get started. Woo! So I worked for the Olive Garden for like five years. Like five miserable, very unhappy years. I am going to say it's the most flexible job. That restaurant put up with my mental health issues and my personal issues. And like they genuinely worked around my schedule and my craziness. And I will forever be grateful for that specific restaurant and those specific managers and people that put up with me. Bitch, I'm a lot. I'm like too much. Like all the time actually. <laughs> like what? But... It does not negate the fact that they played me and I had to just end it and quit. This what happened. What had happened was my shift on Saturday was horrible. The day before I left, I... New York is very loud. So this Saturday shift was trash. Um, I made like no money. I, everyone pissed me off and I was just like literally over it. When it came time to go home, I got my shit together, cashed out, and ran. Like, I ran for the hills, honey. Like, I always leave, like, whoosh, because I hated it. Whatever. That same night, I had gotten an extra coupon from somebody. Pay attention to this part of the story, because this is really important. So, like, coupon. A coupon that I couldn't use because they shared a meal, and the coupon was for, like, $4 off, two meals, but they got one meal, so I couldn't use the coupon, blah, blah, blah. Wasn't going to use the coupon, so I voided it. We're supposed to write our names and put the date on the coupons when we use them to void them, right? Cool, did that. Wasn't planning on using the coupon because it was $4. $4, cuatro pesos. So whatever, I didn't think anything of it. Bitch, when I tell you that the next day on Sunday, they were checking our aprons, our books, and our pouches. They were checking everything. And me, nothing, anything of it. I'm like, hey, what's up? Like, I'm miserable. I don't want to be here. And like, here's my shit. Like, check it, whatever. Mind you, my very close friend was the manager. And we have a new manager that smells like cottage cheese. And he was being trained. He wasn't even an official manager yet. He was being trained. We're going to call him cottage cheese because he smells horrible. Whatever. She finds my coupons and that stupid book and i had forgotten to turn in two of them one that i used one that i couldn't use was not gonna use so i didn't care so i just like forgot and i'm like ha, 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 like sorry like i forgot like i ran out of here my shift was horrible i was miserable and i didn't want to be here so i left mm, 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 mm. bitch tell me how they got like a little agitated about it and i'm like why y'all mad like it's not that serious like we work for the olive garden this is not del frisco's not a five-star restaurant we barely have one star on yelp like calm down sit down take a breath be humble drink some water 
long story short, I get pulled into the office after not realizing that my section had gotten closed. <coughs> Mind you, I have no car. I'm saving. They know that. So, like, how are you going to close my section? I ain't making no money. But wait, sit down. The story continues. Bitch. I go into the office and I'm being spoken to because my number of coupons was unacceptable. So I'm like, okay, cool. Like, y'all can pull out my checks and check that I did not use them. So, like, what's the problem here? Which my friend, who's a manager now, tells me, well, we're going to have to write you up and send you home. Excuse the f*** out of me. I had been there for five years. Never had one write-up. Never had gone sent home for anything. And for $4 that, by the way, like, technically they were accusing me of stealing $4. Dollars. Bitch, four dollars? Four dollars. That's not gonna make me any richer. It's not gonna buy me a car. Shut the fuck up. Whatever. We get into a little heated debate in the office, and I was just like, you know what? Don't talk to me. I don't know you. Look over there. You're my friends. Like, I'm sorry that I'm being rude, but f this shit. You're gonna send me home? Cool. I'm gonna go home and never come back. So yeah, um, I never went back, and now I made a huge change in my life. Um, make sure you look forward to that video, and now let's continue to the f***ing tea, bitch! So, I have worked at the Olive Garden for five years, and it took me a while to take this video because I didn't want the video to come from like a place of hate. You know what I mean? Because I was mad. I was mad. I was mad. I was mad, bitch. But now that I've calmed down, my life is a lot better, and I made huge changes in my life, so I'm very happy right now.